NB comparisons for Kai Soto. This was uh, released earlier. Kai Soto can model his game and NB journey after these three NB players. So this is a replica of the success of the NBA. Kai Soto is looking to make history in the 2022 NBA draft as the first ever home run Filipino player to get drafted just like any other draft prospect. The best way to understand how they translate into the league is by comparing them to an NBA player. Most player comparison will focus on the similarities of skills or physical attributes of two players. I will give a slight twist to this pre-draft comparison by also discussing the NBA player's journey in the league and how applicable it is to Kai. A, pre a player comparison involving Kai Soto will always start with Kristaps Porzingis. The similarity between the two heading into the respective drafts can't be ignored. Porzingis was a 7'3", 230-pound, 19 years old when he entered the draft in 2014. Pick number four. The only difference between the two is that Kai is a year older and two pounds heavier. Kai wingspan measure at 7'5", while Porzingis edged him out slightly at 7'6". Their height and reach combined with their soft touch and make them both tantalizing prospects. Porzingis was already drawing comparisons to Dirk Nowitzki because his jumper was nearly unblockable and extended all the way out to the three-point range. He could also get buckets, fadeaways, flip hooks, and everything. Similarly, similarly, Kai has a deep bag of tricks when trying to score in the paint. He has a soft touch just like Porzingis, which helps since he can't overpower a defender in the post yet. He's shown flashes of outside shot during his one season in the NBL, hitting 38% of his three-pointers, but at the very low volume, unlike Porzingis, he's keep on progress. So you can see here, he keep on practicing his three-point shots because this is uh, an added value of his persona especially if he plays in the NBA and be drafted on June 23 that's why he keep on digging and practicing to really excel on his craft what separates Porzingis from Kai and a lot of other seven footers is his athleticism and mobility. He's the ideal big man for the two man game because he can pop out for the jumper but also roll to the hoop. Porzingis can put the ball on the floor, take a couple of dribbles, and drive to the basket. His athleticism and leg also make him a love threat because playmakers can get through it up no matter how high and Porzingis will reach up for it to throw it down hard. There's a reason why he was called the Latvian gun banger. It's because he was always in attack mode on both ends on the floor. Kai won't be a top five pick like Porzingis. He currently projected to be selected anywhere within the final 20 picks of the draft, taking a lot of second round selections with a similar profile to Kai, one name jumps out, Borbol, the 44 pick in the 2019 draft. Borbol and Kai have a similar build, both stands at 72 with a 75 wingspan but was only 210 pounds before the draft. He and Kai has similar strengths and weaknesses as well. Both players use their length to get buckets. That's because their main weakness offensively is they both lack the strength to finish against more physical defenders. Defensively, they're so little help defenders because their reach and timing allow them to block all kinds of shots at the hoop. Depending out in the space can be tricky for Kai and Ball because they both aren't quick enough laterally 
to stay in step with their assignments. Ball is an interesting comparison for Kai because if the map drops, hold to Kai will be drafted at around the same range ball was drafted. He started his career as the third string center for the Denver Nuggets spending time with the Chicago Bulls as a two-way player. Just like Kai, he will be treated as a project, project by the team that drops him and will be brought along slowly. Kai like Ball will most likely be playing behind more established players and will have to get his reps in the G League. Ball's best stretch as a player came during the 2020 NBA bubble scrimmage games where he showcased his full array of skills on both ends on the floor. Unfortunately, that's been the peak of his NBA career so far. In three seasons in the league, Ball has shown flashes and brilliance. But it's been just that flashes. He hasn't been able to create a real role with the Nuggets and the team gave up their project shipping him away by a trade last season. It both serve as a cautionary tales for Kai then Yuta Watanabe can be the inspirational story he can look up to Watanabe when undrafted in the 2018 draft. The main knock on him was his lack of strength for his position. Instead of letting the deter him, he took the longer route to the NBA. He played well enough in the summer league to earn a two-way contract with the Memphis Grizzlies. He had explosive games for the Memphis hustle, but more importantly, contributed to the Grizzlies whenever he was called up. In 2020, Watanabe signed a two-way deal with the Raptors. He never played for the G League affiliate because he earned a bench role under coach Nick Nurse. His two-way contract was eventually converted into a full contract with Toronto. That's a great example for Kai Soto. The way Watanabe stuck around in the league despite being undrafted is something Kai should study closely. Watanabe made an impact with each team he played on by focusing on defense. Although they play different positions, Kai can, as, can have a similar impact on the defensive and as Watanabe. Rather than trying to do it all on the court, Kai can focus on maximizing his minutes by being a shot blocking specialist. He began to the while that while still being able to dominate in G League games. Then Kai can also earn a solid role with the NBA team just like Watanabe. This fair comparison not only show who Kai can model his game after but also footsteps he can follow depending on how the 2022 NBA draft goes while getting drafted in an honor being able to play and stay in the league more important. There you go. That's what Kai needs to do.